how to add sub pages in Weebly. Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can add sub pages on your Weebly website. So let's get into it. So you can see over here that I have my Weebly website. So I have made like a clover jewelry, like I'm going to delete these sections, but I have this simple little navigation panel. And in my actual update section, I want to add in the new drop section, I want to add like different categories so how can i actually add categories in my new drop section well it's a simple and easy process and i'm gonna go through it with you guys step by step so the first thing that you're going to do is you're gonna log on to your weebly account you're gonna go on to your dashboard you're gonna click on website over here so once you click on website there's going to be a drop down menu you're gonna click on edit site over here and once you click on edit site this is going to open up this basic little um website editor and then you're just going to click on this over here and you can see this is like your basic website so you're going to click on edit over here once you click on edit you're going to be in the website creation mode so you can see this is the weebly website editor now on your left you're going to have your panels so you have all of these panels and then you have these pages you're going to go into your pages section over here at the top and then once you go on to pages section i'm going to go into the new drop section so you can see this is my new drop section and i'm just going to delete these I don't want any text over here and I just want to remove or this is going to be removed anyway. So how do you actually add your pages? Well, you can see I have this page, but what I'm going to do is these are like all of these settings. What you can do is you can just go with no header. So in the new drop section, what you're just going to do is you're just going to go into the plus icon over here. You're going to create your new standard page. So I want to create a collection called Topaz. And then you're just going to click on done. And you might be wondering, I just created a new page. I'm supposed to create a uh, sub page. Well, it's pretty simple. Once you create the new page, what you're just going to do is you're going to select the page and then you're just going to move it slightly to the right. And when it shows you like this box over here, just place it in this box. And now this has been added as a sub page. So if I go into my navigation menu, you can see over here. Now I have this as a sub page and you can add as many as you want. So I can click on new page. Maybe I want a emerald. Emerald is the other page I want. And I'm going to click on done over here. And now this has been created as a new page. And just to make it a sub page, I'm just going to drag and drop it like so. And now it has been added as a sub page. So you can see if I go onto my navigation panel, and now this has been added as a sub page to Topaz. So you can add like sub pages of sub pages if you want, or you can add like standard sub pages like this. So now I've added both of these as a sub page to the new drop section, and I can add like as many sub pages as you want. Obviously, you don't want too like long navigations. People find that pretty annoying. So stray away from adding too many or going overboard with this. But simply, uh, you just have to drag and drop. So Weebly has like a very intelligent editor, and it allows you a lot of customization with a simple click. Their editor is pretty smart, and once you have saved and published your new settings so i'm gonna check if i publish those i'm gonna go into my edit yeah so i did publish those i'm pretty sure and you can see this is the website that i have currently and if i click on over here i'm going to refresh this and i'm going to publish this this being the new version is being published now so it might take a couple of seconds for this to load now the new version has been published and if i click on the navigation menu you can see i have the new drop and then i have these two pages over here now you can customize your pages accordingly you can add a lot more other than sub pages so if i was to go into my pages section to start editing the new drop section i would just open that section up and what i'm going to do is i'm going to click on build and then you can add as much stuff as you want so let's say if i click on gallery and i drag the element over here now i can drag gallery photos or upload files from my computer so let's say if i go onto my downloads i might have a free image that i can use so i'm just adding these images like so and you can click on this image to add text you can add like a lot more stuff over here and this is like a gallery grid layout if you want to add a single image you can add that as well or if you want to make this like a slideshow you can add that as well so let's say i want like a simple slideshow and i'm going to add one more image just so the slideshow is working and now it is reordering the photos and you can also add captions as well you can see i have this like simple kind of layout over here but i'm just going to delete this section 
and I'm going to resize the image a bit. So you can see over here, these are all of the like basic settings. You can change anything of any image and within any page you want. And then you can see that you can add like shop now button. So if I drag and drop this button over here, I can just add a shop now button. So you can add your button text. I want it to look like this. And then with the button text, I want to write shop now like so. And you can see I have my button ready to go. So you can add stuff and remove stuff from your pages. And uh, you can obviously add this in sub pages as well. All of the options that are available for a basic page are also available for any kind of sub page on Weebly as well. Other than these basic features, you can also now add HD videos to your Weebly website as well. And you can add your product categories. You can add flash images. You can add files. You can add search boxes, map locations product catalogs you can add a categorized catalog as well and you can do that not only within the uh, main pages but you can add like a lot to all of the customization and categorization within your sub pages as well so weebly is probably one of the greatest and simplest website editors it's pretty beginner friendly as well as good for professionals and all of this is available for free as well so you can see weebly starts at five dollars a month and they have you publish your site to a custom domain name on the free version Version, you have to use their own domain name and then you can use it for free then they also have the pro version starting at $12 per month where you can list up to 25 items for sale and have phone support then there's the business version with $25 a month and you can list unlimited items for sale and accept payments through paypal and then there's the business plus version which starts at $38 per month where you can recover lost sales with abandoned cart email so you have your integrated email marketing features within the business plus version as well most people i do think the five dollar version the connect version where you can just connect your own custom domain name uh, is more than good enough you can edit your website you have such a professional website editor you can build and set themes for your website you can have basic app integrations within your website as well so you can see these are all of the different apps that are available they are loading up so you can see there are so many different websites or, or integrations that you can use on your free weebly website as well so i don't think there's a lot of need to update but if you do feel like updating uh check out their connect version if you just want to connect your domain and then if depending on your needs if you have a larger business you can opt for a higher version as well and you're now able to create your own weebly website as well so that was it for today i hope you guys found this video helpful make sure to like this video and subscribe to the youtube channel and comment down below the best tips and tricks that i have taught you within this video and make sure to also share this video with your friends and family and to other creators as well so you can help them out as well and to anyone that might need to know this basic detailed platform and how you navigate through these different social websites so i hope this was helpful enough for you and make sure that you do leave a comment down below if i missed out on anything and if there is anything you would like to add and i will catch you guys in the next video